Just very finally, while I've got you, is the advice to British citizens that they should leave Ukraine if they now, uh, and is the advice too that people should not be going to Ukraine? Absolutely, and I know where you're going. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm planning, no, I planning, no, I, I, planning on staying so, here, to be honest, Minister, following the so, advice. Although I see one of your colleagues, Mr Elwood, is in Ukraine okay. now. OK, I thought you were uh, going to mention that the ambassador is still there. And no, what, no, no. Uh, I'm just interested to see that your Conservative is... colleague, Mr Elwood, has gone to Kiev, presumably for meetings with uh, with Defence. Yeah. Is, that, is that right? Is that following the advice? It's unwise. Uh, and I think that if you are not engaged in the official diplomatic effort of Her Majesty's government, it's probably not the best thing to have done. But Tobias will have made his his own judgment. And I suppose he might argue that he, like a number of journalists, felt that it was his duty to be able to go forward and ascertain the facts with his own eyes and have conversations uh, and then come back in order to be able to better perform his duties as uh, as a committee chair in the House of Commons. Um, I hope, however, that uh, it doesn't uh, wrongly encourage uh, people to go against the travel advice. I think that you know the ambassador and her team are being extraordinarily brave staying, but they recognise that the diplomatic effort needs to continue and without an embassy in place, that's impossible. And similarly, uh, if government ministers go to Ukraine over the next few days, that is very, very risky indeed, but it is necessary in order to keep the diplomatic effort alive.